Hey everybody, today we are going to be feeding some of our baby snakes that we just hatched this year. We are going to start by feeding this ghost bull snake, and then we are going to be feeding a couple other bull snakes too of various lineages. And finally, we might be giving you a sneak peek to a baby hog nose snake that we're also going to feed. Are you gonna eat or are you just gonna hiss? You're probably just gonna hiss. But let's find out. All the bull snakes in this video already have their homes lined up, so Andrew, if you're watching this, this is your baby ghost. He's kinda, or sh she's kinda sassy. Here you go, girl. Doesn't it smell good? Yeah, you're just gonna hiss at it, aren't you? Are you angry that I brought you upstairs? Yep, probably, okay. I guess I will lay hers down there. Okay, I guess we're just gonna move right along and check back in with that ghost. Aww. See, she, she typically likes to eat when it's just left in there, in her bin with her. So that's kind of what I was expecting today. So moving on is this albino bull snake, which, wait, this video isn't out yet. Not? No, I just realized that. Yeah, well, um, I've already seen it. Well, too late now. Yeah, we hatched some albinos. Here's one of them. I guess I'll just have to upload that. We're really ahead on videos right now. But you get a, a sneak peek to a, an albino bull snake clutch. This is Sean's baby bull snake. Here you go, sweetheart. Aww. Come on, little dude. Oh, you are so polite. Oh my gosh, that was adorable. Sean, you're gonna have a sweetheart of an albino bull snake on your hands. I can't wait until you get to take her in. Aww. Um, Ghost Bull, why can't you be like the albino? Why are you such a jerk face? Oh sure, now you're not hissing. Yeah. You're lucky you're pretty. Next, we're going to feed one of our multi-het babies. Well, we did shed, look at that. Ah, clump of shed. Oh, that's a nice shed. Let's see if we can get him to come out of his tube with some food. Oh, I hear a little tail buzz. Oh, I see a tongue flick. Oh, Back up you? a little bit. Yep. Oh, what was that? She emerges. I'm gonna hold it here so we can watch you, otherwise you're gonna suck it into your tube. Nope, nope. You can't just take it. Nope, oh, there it goes. Here's another multi-het baby, and yeah, she kind of made a mess of her bin, but I'm not going to clean it out right, right now. It seems like the process of cleaning just works them up so much that then they refuse to eat afterwards. So I'm gonna try to feed her first. Are you just gonna hiss at it? It's food. We have a theme with our multi-heads. They like to hide. Yeah, hide while they're eating. Mm-hmm. Well, that was quick. Yeah, that was a small meal for her. Yeah, a little bit smaller than usual, so maybe I'll just feed her her next meal a little bit sooner than usual. Okay, for the last bull snakes, we're gonna try to feed and then we'll move on to an adorable little hog nose. I actually put two snows in here to bring upstairs to double our chances that they will eat on camera since they seem to be pretty shy. And of course, in that time, they both wedge themselves in this tube. So, little snow. So one of these is gonna be our holdback and the other one is gonna go to a viewer named Mark. Although we haven't decided which one we're gonna hold back yet. Although honestly, we have to wait till both of them are eating well before we send one to Mark anyway. Come on now, little snow. Come on, snow. Oh no, no. Oh. Yeah, maybe I can just like. Okay, fine. Since everybody wants to suck their food into their tube to eat, I'll just hold the tube up like this. There we go. The weirdest feeding ever. <laughs> feeding our snakes in a tube is yeah. what we should call this. 
maybe I'll use this shot in the thumbnail to confuse everybody. <laughs> like what's what? going on? Yeah, why is that snake eating in a tube? <laughs> well, here you go guys, this is why. Oh, is that a good meal there, little girl? She ate it already? She already ate it. Wow, she's you gonna, gonna reset your jaw there? Oh, I'll bet. Aww. Yep, she ate. Well, that's good. Should we try to feed the other side of the tube? Sure, I'm gonna All reset right. up the tripod so I can not have to hold the camera the entire time. Alright, you have to come out of here anyway, girl. We have to separate you guys after this. Aww, two little faces. They're so cute. But, girls, we need one of you to come out. There's her head. Hi, little cutie. Here, look at this. Was that tasty? Aww, that was her first meal ever. Is that and, a good meal? And she ate it in a tube. So don't mind all the weird plasticky stuff on the outside rim of this plastic tube. It's just melted plastic from when we sliced it. And now we are going to wrap up this video by showing you yet another snake who you haven't seen their hatching video of. So I guess you could consider, consider this another sneak peek. A they, snake peek? <laughs> a snake pe You've been hanging out with me too much. I need to leave the house more often. Now it is. <laughs> COVID. COVID was rough on Ed. It was. <laughs> anyway, we're going to feed a baby hognose snake next. And not just any hognose, an albino hognose that just hatched. Hey, little dude. Oh, look at this albino. I cannot wait to show you this snake's oh, clutch. Look at that triangular shaped head. Oh, are you a little cobra? Oh, you're so scary. Okay, let's see if you will eat. This is this baby's very first meal as well, if he eats. Or she, I, I don't know. I'm not going to sex it right now because I don't. I'll say she by looking she. at the top. Here you go, little girl. Come on. Oh. Look at her scrunching her body. That's a good sign. Oh, yay! I like how all the ones in this video that took it, took it pretty gracefully. They did, you're right. Oh, look at you eating your first meal. Aww. So what you can do if you have really tiny baby snakes is you can cut the head off of a pinky. And some people do that for baby hog noses, but I've found that if you get day old pinkies, and these, these are some that we produced, we know when they were born, they were less than a day old when we culled them. Those are small enough for a baby hog nose to handle the entire thing. It'll leave a considerable lump behind, but they seem to not have any problems with that. Well, like I said, this one you haven't seen its hatching video yet, but we're going to 
post that next week. I think that's gonna be this coming Friday's video. So two videos from today and something crazy happened in this clutch of babies. So I'm really excited to show you that hatching video. If you want, you can try to guess what happened in the comments, but I don't know if you're actually gonna guess it. I will give him his decor back very carefully here. There you go, buddy. You may have noticed that we have all of our babies on paper towels here instead of Aspen, like what we use for the adults or even the yearlings. And that's because for our babies, since we have so many of them, it's just easier to keep them on paper towels so that when we feed them, we can just drop a pinky or a fuzzy for the bull snakes in here, push them back into the rack and leave them alone. So when they get a little bit older, the, our hold max anyway, we'll switch them over to Aspen. But for all the babies we're gonna sell, we usually just keep them on paper towels until they go to their new homes. And one more reason why we do paper towels for hatchlings, and if you're breeding snakes, you might wanna consider it too, is because then if they drag the pinky around, they don't stick it to aspen or their substrate because for a tiny snake, a piece of aspen is a lot bigger in comparison to their body than it is for an adult. So there are a few of our newly hatched baby snakes of 2020 eating for you. I wanted to hold one of them for the end of this video, but I didn't want to hold a snake that had just eaten. So instead I'm holding this patternless bull snake because I know you guys don't get to see him very often. So he's joining us for the ending instead. Thank you everybody for watching. And as always, thank you to our Patreon backers for your incredible support. Stay tuned for upcoming hatching videos of the snakes in today's video that you haven't seen hatching yet, but you got snake peeks of, and we'll see you next time. What? What are you doing? Are you just licking my wrist?